my name is Stacy N. Pagara. I'm a fourth year student of Bohol Island State University, Kalapi Campus. And I'm taking Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. And today, I will be showing you my teaching demonstration as one of the activities of Field Study 4. The subject that I'm going to teach is English 7 and the topic is Coordinating Conjunctions. In this lesson, the student will be able to explain coordinating conjunction, use coordinating conjunction in a given sentence correctly, show the importance of using coordinating conjunction in a conversation. Okay, let us start. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, be good morning class. Before you take your seat, please arrange your chair and pick up the pieces of paper under your chair. Let us keep our classroom clean. Okay, thank you. Before we proceed, I will check your attendance first. Covido, present. Say present when I call your name. Quarantina, present. Colone, present. Very good. You have a perfect attendance today. Let us clap our hands. Okay, very good. Uh, we, before we proceed to our topic, uh, we will do our recap. What is our lesson last meeting? Yes, Kubido. It's about preposition. Very good. And what is preposition? Corona. Okay, very good. It seems that you understand the lesson last meeting. And now, let's proceed to our new lesson. I have letters here. Please form a word or an acronym that out from these letters. Just guess. Covido. Sun. Yes. Another. Yes. Quarantina. Clue. It starts with letter F. And the last letter is letter S. Yes. Who can guess? Raise your hand. Yes. Quarantina again. What the word? Yes. Fun voice. Very good, Quarantina. The, the word is fun voice. Can you think words that link two words or link two sentences, phrases, or... Uh, other, other, not just one sentence, but two sentences to become compound sentence. Can you think a word that links all of those? That links words and phrases and etc. Yes, you have idea? Corone? Uh, Comido? Okay, it's okay. You have no idea. Let's proceed. Let's go to our activity game you know what's what is bingo game okay let's play bingo game but before i will group you i will group you into five groups then start the counting here one two three four five okay then Group one, group 1 will stay here, group 2 there, group 3 at the center, group 4 there, and group 5 here. Okay, please keep quiet in finding your group mates. The most quiet group will be awarded. Okay? Okay. Done? Okay. Now, let's proceed. Listen to my instruction. Each of you, or, or each, no, I mean each of the group will receive one bingo card. And each card has five sentences. Each sentence has blanks. 
the first I will I will I will I will give you the words and if you think that the word is the right word to fill in the blank then you will fill the blank with the word that I read or pronounce or I'll give then if all the blanks are filled then you will shout bingo then that group will be the winner okay is my instruction clear okay okay this is for group one and group two group three group four and group five okay the first word is four is the word four is the right word to fill in the blanks in the sentence given in the bingo card okay done next is yet is there a yet is there a sentence that needed is there a sentence that need this word yet or this word yet will be the word that can complete the sentence the right word to fill in the blanks okay let's proceed third is but keep quiet group four then next is nor then next is and oh someone there's a group shouted bingo yes group three bingo okay what's the first what's the first what is your first sentence please pass your bingo card first i hate to waste a drop of gas for it is very expensive these days okay correct number two three four five okay very good group three wins this activity let's give them an indian applause one two three one two three very good very good very good very good okay again let's do it all together one two three one two three very good very good very good congrats group three okay let's proceed and there are other words s is for saw o is for or and these fun boys is the acronym of the words of these words that links words phrases and sentences okay do you have any idea what is the name of these words do you have any idea what is the name of these words? Because this is just an acronym, FUN BOYS. What is the name of these words? Yes, clue. It is two words. And the first, the first and the second word start with letter C. The first and the second word start with letter C. Yes, Koroni. It's coordinating conjunction. Very good, Karani. Yes, those are coordinating conjunctions. What is coordinating conjunction? It is a word that connects words, connects phrases or sentences. So there are seven coordinating conjunctions. Those are those are the fun boys. We can easily remember the, the coordinating conjunctions because of the acronym FANBOYS. F star for for, A and, and nor, B but, O or, or, Y yet, and S is so. Okay. Now, the, the, this conjunction has their meaning. So, the first is for. The first, the meaning of for is 
because or since. Example, I have to find a new job for I am unemployed. So, meaning, I have to find a new job because I am unemployed. Second, and. It means in addition to. Example, I'm a husband and father. So, husband, in addition to husband, he is also a father. Okay, next, nor. It means and not. Example, neither my parents nor my friends supported me. Neither my parents and not my friends supported me. Okay. No, uh, none of the choices. Okay, let's proceed. But, it means however, example, I, I have got a home but I haven't got a car. So, I have got a home, however, I haven't got a car. Next is, or. Meaning, either. So, which color do you like? Red or blue? Which color do you, li do you like? Either red or blue? Okay. Next is, yet. Meaning, but. Just like, however. Okay, but. Tom plays basketball well. Yet, his favorite spot, sport is football. Okay. Next is, the last is, so meaning therefore she was sick so she couldn't attend the meeting or she was sick therefore she couldn't attend the meeting okay i want you to give an example uh give me a sentence that contain a coordinating conjunction yes quarantina please raise your hands do not answer in chorus. Please raise your hands. Then stand and and say your sentence. Yes, quarantina. I love my parents for they are a great provider. Okay, very good. The coordinating conjunction there is for. Let's give quarantina a Beautiful applause. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. Again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. Okay. Next. Who wants to volunteer? Another. Give me another sentence that contains coordinating conjunction. Okay. Covido. I love chocolates and cakes. Okay. The coordinating conjunction there is? Corona and okay it links the words cakes and cakes and chocolates very good it seems that you understand our lesson okay because you understand our lesson I want to ask your idea why it is important why coordinating conjunctions are important wants to volunteer yes corona because it links words yes but it's not just words but also phrases okay covido okay it makes one it makes two sentences into one sentence that we call th that uh, in our previous topic Yes, Quarantina, it's compound sentence. Yes, through using coordinating conjunction, we can connect or link the two sentences. And that that is called compound sentence. Okay, very good class. It seems that you understand our lesson. Now, I have an activity. Uh, go back to your, arrange your chairs first. And this activity is by pair okay then by pair then i will i will give you five minutes to prepare a dialogue make a dialogue of course with coordinating conjunctions use it correctly 
make a dialogue and then uh, you you will present the dialogue to the class so you will you will present the dialogue here in front I will choose five pairs to present the dialogue their dialogues in front okay I will give you five minutes to make the dialogue your time starts now okay time's up time's up okay i see you time's up uh what group or who wants to volunteer to present the dialogue here in class quarantina and covido okay present your dialogue here in in front of the class okay very good quarantina and covido let's give them a stormy applause one two three one two three stormy whoosh 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 again one two three one two three stormy whoosh 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 very good okay next uh please get one half sheet of paper uh let's do a short quiz just one to ten um i will give you 15 minutes to finish this quiz direction complete the sentences below with the correct conjunction okay i will give you 15 minutes to finish this activity your time are you done preparing the paper? One half sheet of paper? Okay, done. Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Pass your papers. Pass your papers here in front. Okay. And for your assignment, on a one half sheet of paper, give at least one sentence in every coordinating conjunction. Okay? Then pass the assignment on the next meeting. That's all for today and God bless you. Goodbye.